what I feel around here tonight. Thank Praise you, God. Jesus. We might as well just go ahead and continue to worship. Amen. Let God have His way in this place tonight. I, I came to receive something from Him. How Thank you, you Jesus. Thank Praise you, God. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank Praise you, God. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Book of Jeremiah, the 17th chapter. And we'll start reading with the fifth verse. Jeremiah 17 and 5. <coughs> Thus saith the Lord, Cursed be the man that trusteth in man, and maketh flesh his arm, and whose heart departeth from the Lord. For he shall be like the heath, and that's a bush, in the desert, and shall not see when good cometh, but shall inhabit the parched places in the wilderness, in salt land, and not inhabit it. Blessed is the man that trusteth in the Lord. Thank God. And whose hope the Lord is. Amen. Everybody got the Lord for his hope tonight? Yes, Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. For he shall be as a tree planted by the water, that spreadeth out her roots by the river, and shall not see when he cometh. But her leaves shall be green, and shall not be careful in the year of drought, neither shall cease from yielding fruit. As a child of God, do you realize we should always yield fruit? Huh? Thank God, thank God, Praise thank God. you, Jesus. The heart is deceitful above all things, desperately wicked. Who can know it? Well, I, the Lord, search the heart. I try the reins, even the reins, even to give every man according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doings. Thank you, Jesus. As the potter sitteth on eggs and hatches them not. So is he that giveth riches and, and not by right. Shall leave them in the midst of his days, and at, the, at his end shall be a fool. A glorious high throne from, from the beginning is the place of our sanctuary. O Lord, the hope of Israel, all that forsake thee shall be ashamed. And they that depart from thee shall be written in the earth, because they have forsaken the Lord the fountain of living water. Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved, for thou art my praise. Thank praise you, God. Jesus. Let's praise you one thank more time. You. God, we love you. God, we praise you. We thank you for your spirit. We thank you for the word. God, anoint us and use us for thy glory. God, hearts and ears to receive your word. We'll praise you for it in Jesus' name. Praise God. And you may be seated. He said, O Lord, the hope of Israel, all that forsake thee shall be ashamed. And they that depart from me shall be written in the earth, because they have forsaken the Lord, the fountain of living water. And that's what I want to preach to you about for just a little while tonight is the fountain. Bless him, Lord. The fountain of living water. He said, He said, uh, you 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 forsaken. You're going to be ashamed because you're forsaken. You've forsaken the fountain of living water. Praise God. He said in, in uh, Jeremiah 2 and 13, he said this. He said, For my people have committed two evils. They have forsaken me, the fountain of living waters, and hewed them out cisterns, broken cisterns, that can hold no water. He's telling, uh, he's telling the, the children of Israel, he's telling them, he said, my people, he said, you've, you've committed two evils. Mm. He said, in the first place, the first evil was that, that you have forsaken the fountain of living water. Amen. And the second evil was that you, you, you've hewed out cisterns, broken cisterns, and, and this is just simply uh, uh, wells dug or whatever to hold water. You know, some of the whole water. But he Amen. said, you've hewed out cisterns, broken cisterns, that can hold no water. In other words, what he's saying to them, he said, you've forsaken the fountain of living water, and you went about doing your own thing. You look for your own devices. Amen. And he said, that's just like, that's just like putting water in a broken cistern. It ain't going to hold no water. Right? Amen. It's not going to hold any water. Praise God. 
Praise God. He, but he said, you forsake it. You forsake it. He said, that's the first thing. Forsaking the fountain of living water. You see, the Bible begins to tell us in Psalms 36 and 7, it begins to say this. How excellent is thy loving kindness, O God. Therefore, the children of men put their trust under the shadow of thy wings. They shall be abundantly satisfied with the fatness of thy house, and thou shalt make them drink of the river of thy pleasure. Amen. And the Bible teaches us that, that in his presence is fullness of joy. At his right hand are pleasures forevermore. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. So so knowing that, he said, he said, how excellent. Is thy loving kindness, O God. Therefore, the children of men put their, when we put our trust under the shadow of his wings, he said, You shall abundantly, shall be abundantly satisfied with the fatness of thy house. In other words, the blessings of God. Amen. Blessings of God. And thou shalt make them drink of the river of thy pleasure. Thank there's God. nothing, Thank there's God. nothing like drinking from a well of living water. Amen. Praise God. From the Spirit of God, in other words, there's nothing like drinking up out of the Spirit of God. Now, a spring or a fountain is called living. It's a living spring or it's a, it's a, it's a living fountain when they never cease. Now notice this. It, it's, called, it's called living waters a spring or a fountain is called living when it never ceases. Amen. But it's always sending forth water. Thank God. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Amen. I, it, what do you say? Our praise should never cease. Our praise should never, never stop. The Spirit of God should always be able to flow freely in our lives. Yes, sir. But if we go about our own devices and doing our own thing, you know what happens? Eventually the well gets stopped up. Amen. It can't flow freely. It can't flow freely. But this 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 fountain of living water, Joel saw it. Joel saw it in Joel 3 and 18. He said, It shall come to pass in that day that the mountain shall drop down new wine. And the hills shall flow with milk, and all the rivers of Judah shall flow with waters. And the fountain shall come forth of the house of the Lord, and shall water the valley of Shiloh. Thank God. Yes, sir. Water shall come forth. Amen. Living water. Living water. Zechariah saw. Zechariah 13 and 1. In that day there shall be a fountain open to the house of David and to the hands of Jerusalem for sin and for uncleanness. Amen. What's the old saying? The running water purifies itself. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Ezekiel saw it. Ezekiel 47. Ezekiel 47, verse 1. I was said afterward he brought me again to the doors of the house and behold waters issued out from under the thres threshold of the house eastward for the for forefront of the house stood toward the east and the waters came down from under from the right side of the house at the south side of the altar. Then he brought me out of the way of the gate northward and led me about with, without unto the other gate by the way that looketh eastward and behold, I ran out waters on the right side. And when the man that had the line in his hand went forth eastward, he measured a thousand cubits, and he brought me through the waters, and the waters were to the ankle. And he measured a thousand, and he brought me through the waters, and the waters were to the knees. Again, he measured a thousand, and brought me through the waters, and the waters were to the loins. And afterward, he measured a thousand, See the further you get into this. Amen. 
The farther, the farther you get into worship, the farther you get into praying, the farther you get into God's Word, the closer you get to God. What are you doing? You're stepping out into the water. He said, after we measured a thousand, it was a river that could not pass over, for the waters were risen, waters to swim in, a, water, a river that could not be passed over. Bless him, Jesus. Praise God. In other words, there's no limit how far you can go in the kingdom of God. And he said unto me, Son of man, hast thou seen this? And he brought me and caused me to return to the brink of the river. When I returned, behold, at the bank of the river were very many trees on one side and on the other. Then said he unto me, These waters issue out toward the east country and go down into the desert and go into the sea, which being brought forth into the sea, the waters shall be healed. Thank you, Jesus. Thank and you. And it shall come to pass that everything that liveth, what is it now? It's liveth with living water. Amen. Everything that liveth, which moveth, whatsoever the river shall come, shall live. It's, it's, it, it, issuing out from the house of God was waters of living, you know, uh, rivers of living water. Mm -hmm. And there shall be a very great multitude of fish, because these waters shall come thither, for they shall be healed, and everything that shall live, and everything shall live where the river cometh. Praise Amen. God, I'm going to tell you, the Spirit of God in your life, the Holy Ghost in your life, will cause you to live like never before. Amen. Yes, sir. Praise Lord. God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. So Joel saw it. Amen. Zechariah saw it. Ezekiel saw it. Yes, sir. But Jesus proclaimed That's right. Jesus proclaimed it. John, the fourth chapter, verse 30, verse 6. The Bible said, Now Jacob's well was there. Jesus, therefore, being wearied with his journey, sat thus on the well, and it was about the sixth hour. There cometh the woman of Samaria to draw water, and Jesus saith unto her, Give me to drink. Amen. For his disciples were gone away into the city to buy meat. Then saith the woman of Samaria unto him, how is it that thou, being a Jew, hast this drink of me, which am a woman of Samaria? For the Jews have no dealings with the Samaritans. And Jesus answered and said unto her, If thou knewest the gift of God, and who it is that saith to thee to give me to drink, thou would have asked of him, and he would have given thee living water. Amen. Living water. The woman says unto her, Sir, thou hast nothing to draw with, and well is deep from whence then hast thou that living water. <coughs> thou greater than our father Jacob, which gave us this, the well, and drank thereof himself and his children and his cattle. Jesus answered and said unto her, Whosoever drinketh of this water shall thirst again. And he was talking about the water that that, that woman was about to draw for, for herself, and what she was about to drink of. But he said, Whosoever drinketh of this water shall thirst again. But whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst. Now, now somebody said, Well, what is that exactly that, that mean? That means once you taste this water, you realize what you've been searching for, you found it. And you realize that it's living water. When you realize that it's living water, that it continually flows. And if it continually flows, then I'm not going to get thirsty. Bless him, Lord. Because I'm going to continue to drink of the living water that yes. I now find. Yes. But if I drink of, the, of that natural water, I'm going to get thirsty again. That's right. But when I realize I found the living water, I don't know about you, but when I realize I found the living water, I'm going to keep drinking. Amen. Yes, sir. Because it's a continual flow. It's a continual flow. He said, But the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of living water springing up into everlasting life. It's continually, Amen. continually springing up. Yes, sir. Somebody said, well, You know, old wells, you used to have to prime them. Uh-huh. Sure did. You know, get the water to come up. <laughs> well, what did you do to prime them? You poured a little water in it. 
old pump. You pour a little water in it to prime it. Sometimes, sometimes we as Christians, we have to be primed a little bit. Uh-oh. Amen. Come on, preach this. We have to be primed a little bit. So, so, so what happens? I pour a little spirit in Yes, sir. Give it a little taste. Good. Before you know it, we're whoo, whoo. <laughs> <laughs> That old, that old well gets to springing up. That everlasting life gets to springing up. We have to make us a laugh or two. Amen. We lift our hands or clap our hands. Amen. Or cry yes, out to the Lord. Yes, sir. Praise God. Well of living water springing up into everlasting life. Then he said in the book of St. John again in the seventh chapter. Verse 37. The Bible said in the, in the last day, that great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried, saying, If any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. Amen. <coughs> he that believeth on me, as the Scripture has said. Huh? Amen. Huh? Yes, sir. <coughs> I, can't, I, can't, I can't believe on Jesus in just any way. I've got to believe on him as the scripture has said. Amen. He that believes on me as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall what? Flow rivers of living Amen. water. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Don't let that Thank living you, water get... My Lord, if I put it in a broken system, it's going to leak out. <laughs> right. Right. I was going to stagnate if I don't oh, let oh, it flow. Right. So he that believes on me as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Amen. Praise God. Yes, sir. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Then, then he says, But this spake he of the Spirit, which they that believe on him should receive. Believe on him how? As the scripture has said. Yes, sir. Thank God. For the Holy Ghost was not yet given because that Jesus was not yet glorified, believing on him as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. This Thank faith you, he Jesus. of the Spirit, or this faith he of the Holy Ghost <laughs> that was yet to come, but it was coming. Yes, sir. It was right. coming. Praise <clears throat> God. That's why we got to let it flow sometimes. That's why we got to let it go sometimes. Amen. Praise Thank God. You, Praise Jesus. God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. Bless him, Lord Don't. Jesus. Oh, I'm going to get ugly. I'm sorry. Bless him, Lord. Don't call yourself a Christian and be a deadbeat. <laughs> be Bless dead. him, Jesus. Unmovable, unchangeable. Right. Unemotional. Bless him, Lord God. Why? Because there is a fountain of living water. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The Bible said it shall Thank be you, in Jesus. you a well of living water springing up in the everlasting life. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. We ought to show some life. We need to show some life. Yes, there sir. is a dying world out there Amen. that needs to see some life. Yes. That needs to see some life. Yes, sir. Praise God. And I can't show them life if I'm dead, too. Bless him, Lord God. Out of his belly shall flow rivers. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Joel saw it. Zechariah saw it. Ezekiel saw it flowing out from the house of God. Amen. Flowing out from the house of God. Wherever this spirit touched, wherever this river touched, the waters were healed. Mm -hmm. It brought healing. It brought deliverance. Praise God. Jesus proclaimed it. He told, if any man thirst, let him come unto me. Amen. He's that living one. Yes, sir. He's that well of everlasting life. <laughs> Praise God. He's that living fountain. Praise God. 
Praise God. The Bible speaks of it again in the book of Revelation. Revelation 22, verse 1. And he showed me a pure river of water of life. Clear as crystal, where was it coming from? Amen. Proceeding out of the throne of God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Life flowing out from the throne of God. Yes. Life flowing out from the throne of God. Ezekiel saw it flowing out from the house of God. Yes. Where? From from the altar? From the altar? That's right. And Jesus said, if any man thirst, let him come to me. Yes. Let him come to me. Woman, if you'd have asked, I'd have give you a well of living water. Bringing up into everlasting life. Amen. He said, He showed me a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding out of the throne of God and of the Lamb. And in the midst of the street of it, on either side of the river, was there the tree of life, which bare twelve manner of fruits and yielded her fruit every month, and the leaves of the tree before the healing of the nations. Mm. Why? Because that river of life flowed. It flowed. Thou shalt be no more cursed, but the throne of God and of the Lamb shall be in it, and his servants shall serve him. They shall see his face, and his name shall be written in their foreheads. And there shall be no night there, and they need no candle, neither the light of the sun. For the Lord God giveth them light, and they shall reign forever and ever. Thank you, Why? Jesus. Why? Because of Thank the fountain. You, Jesus. Thank the word you, fountain Jesus. simply means, uh, well, a spring of water. Mm -hmm. A spring of water. And Jesus is our fountain of life. Tonight. Praise God. He said, sir. How can you give me this water? You don't have anything to draw with. You may be here thinking tonight, I don't know how do I get this water. I don't have anything to draw with. Hey, dude. You begin drawing with your, I would say with joy. With joy shall you draw water out of the wells of salvation. Amen. Through my worship, through my praise, Somebody said, are you going there to worship or praise again? Mm -hmm. Could I tell you it's the key? Yes, sir. Thank you, It's Jesus. the key Thank to get you, hold of God. Amen. With our worship and our praise, our, I've said our sacrifices and praise. Amen. If I want this water to flow, I've got to draw it with my worship. Thank my you, Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Let's stand tonight. If the river's not flowing in your life like you would like it to, begin to worship. Begin to praise. Because He said, I've given it to you. It's a well of living water springing up in the everlasting life. Amen. Let's let that water bubble up a little while tonight. Amen. Spring up a little bit Thank a while tonight while we worship and praise Him. Praise God. Listen, God's the same as He was last Sunday night. Amen. God is the same as He was the Sunday night before. Yes, he is. He's still here willing to, to let that Thank water and that living Jesus. water flow through your life. Amen, yes. But I've got to be willing to drink it. You've got to be willing to drink it. But He'll give you that water. Thank you, Jesus. He said, Thank you, Jesus. Rain comes. Amen. I'm asking you tonight as they sing tonight. If any man thirsts, let him come. Thank you, Jesus. I long, I long for that spiritual water. I long yes, for that water. Thank, you, up Jesus, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Don't let yourself get dry. But there's living water in this place. Amen. Tonight. Praise God. Would you come and worship him as they sing tonight? Would you come? Come on, church.